so during my PhD projects, uh, one of the things that I was working on was looking at different attributes that impact the route choice decisions of public transport travelers. And one of the things within that project was the detours or the circuitry in the, in the network. Um, and while analyzing it, I realized that this could be very relevant from an equity perspective as well. And, and that's how the, the idea of uh, this research came about. Uh, so our research focuses on uh, the equity in public transport or equity issues in public transport, uh, more specifically the disparities in travel times and fare paid by different travelers in the network. Uh, what we particular thing that we focus on is the detours uh, made in the network. We use the term circuitry, which is uh, the ratio of the network to the Euclidean distance traveled in a public transport journey. So why is it important? Uh, so the more detours that, uh, that that a traveler is facing means that he's traveling longer distance for the same crow fly distance. So this will impact the travelers in two ways. First of all, if everything else is equal, then a longer detour also means longer travel times. Moreover, uh, for networks where the fare is calculated based on the distance traveled, like in the case of Amsterdam, more detours also means that you're paying more fare for the same crow fly distance. So we looked at this particular aspect of, of detours um, and tried to analyze how different income groups have different travel times and fare paid and what is the contribution of circuitry of networks, which is more, more like at a more higher level, the contribution of network design to the eventual outcomes of disparities in travel times and fare paid. So we did this for the case of Amsterdam Public Transport Network and we used smart card data uh, from, from the network to get access to this rich database of almost all journeys made in the network. So in uh, monocentric cities, uh, what typically happens is that uh, people who are living on the outskirts of the city or far from the city center need to travel longer distances because most of the opportunities are typically located in the city center. Also, these areas which are far from the city center are also lower density, which means that public transport routes serving these areas are typically more circuitous. So we tried to see if this is the case for Amsterdam Public Transport Network, because for otherwise what will happen is that the people who are living, living on the outskirts, they will pay higher and travel longer distances. Uh, so first of all, just knowing uh, that that uh, the, the, and recognizing the contribution of network design to these disparities or, or the eventual outcomes can make us more conscious on the design choices that we make. Uh, so in this this uh, project, one of the, the findings was that the circuitry in the networks can either exacerbate or reduce the existing disparities that are there in the network. So you could use that to tweak the network design so that you have maybe you have more direct routes for the areas that suffer the most, uh, for example. The other way is to look at the fare structure and maybe based on the travel patterns that, that we observe, change the fare structure so that the eventual outcomes, at least for the fare paid, are more equitable. So when I was undertaking this research, it was purely out of uh, curiosity and, work, and, and an interest in working on the problems that have a societal impact. And I never really imagined that it would be considered for, for, for an award. So uh, winning it would first of all be, be a huge motivation to keep undertaking such research, which, which impacts the society at large. Um, also this particular like prestigious award at, at the ITF summit, uh, it, it will provide so much more visibility and exposure to our work specifically for practitioners and policy makers which means that it can be used by more people uh, which is in itself in itself amazing uh, and lastly for for just on a personal personal note because now i'm nearing the end of my phd it will be a great uh, opportunity and this award will provide me more connections or more uh, exposure to people who are interested in similar topics uh, which will maybe lead to and open up some more research opportunities and ideas that I could work on uh, in, in my next next steps.